Hello and welcome to the Metroidvania Review official stream. My name is Professor Q and this is Nick. How's it going, everybody? And today we're going to go see the bees. And we know what to do for the bees. Oh yeah, last time we died to... I was like, why yeah, am I moving so go. slow? I forgot that you... We gotta go beat up a circus freak. Oh, I still have my Geo, so I'm fine. I wanted to make sure I got my Geo. So there's two things I want to do. Um, first off, we need to get the tram pass in order to get to the bees. Wait, you're not gonna... I'm not gonna, gonna, gonna attempt her right now. I'm gonna go fight the bees. The first fight isn't that bad. Wait, there's more than one fight? Oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't know this. Well, then we're gonna fight her now. Alright, we changed our mind, the, guys. We're not doing the bees right the, the now. Steward, <laughs> this is just to metamorphosize your little dude into something more useful. Uh, this then is, there's a second fight that's even harder. This is starting to become a meme at this point, though. The, <laughs> we're gonna get to the bees, guys. We're gonna get to the bees, guys. We're gonna do it. The collector was heading that direction. Well, I mean, you're obviously not going to grind out trying to beat this guy all day, so... Oh, you know what you I get, just did? You get, you get five attempts. You get five attempts on this? No, no, no. I'm saying you get five oh, attempts. Oh, I was going to say. I'm like, that's not very nice. Well, I didn't change my charms, and this is like the beginning of the stream where I am at my weakest. And you don't even know what you have equipped? Yeah. Okay, okay. I'll give you pro tips. Don't get hit by those fireballs. Okay. <laughs> Well, at the very least, I should probably have the charm that gives me, uh... See, when he slashes soul? at you, don't let him hit you with his slashes. <laughs> oh, you see that fire there? Don't get hit by that fire. Did we die last time? Yeah. Okay. I think that your, your, your thing is just, like, hanging out outside the tent, right? It is. So I was just thinking that this week is going to be interesting because, um... I haven't played anything that's anywhere similar to Hollow Knight. I thought it was outside Playing. the tent. You've been playing chill, happy bear adventure. So Axiom Verge Two is nothing like Hollow Knight. Um, and then I played Unbound Worlds Apart, which is definitely nothing like Hollow Knight. Which is funny because the reviews say otherwise, but I don't know. So far, I haven't gotten an attack. Oh. So, excuse me. Um, well, that's because whenever a game is successful, every other game in the genre gets compared to that game. Compared that's to like that every game, action yeah. game, the Dark Souls game now. Right. Yeah, yeah. If it's difficult, it's a soul's like. Welcome, Annie. All right, let's see. Uh, focus their power and unleash art sooner. That sounds good. Good evening. I'm going to go grab a... Uh, Welcome thing. to your Suppervania experience. <clears throat> okay, let's do this. I wish there was a place that I could charge my soul before starting this. And yes, it's very annoying that she eats the... These attacks don't seem that difficult to dodge. I just need to get good at the timing. He's He's got a lot of different attacks. That may be the trick. Okay. Like, so far it feels a little bit more like fighting um, a hornet. And just remember, it gets hard. Oh yeah, I'm sure that as the fight goes on. So like that's easy. This is relatively easy. Like, the hardest thing about these fights aren't isn't usually the dodging, but figuring out when to hit. Yeah, he's got a Dracula vibe to him for sure. He's he's Vania. Yeah. Well, if you were to compare Hollow Knight to any like of the two main ones, it would definitely be on the Castlevania side of the spectrum, I think. I think your main thing in this fight is figuring out when you can snap some heels off, because he is relentless. <laughs> well, I may go um, the Joni build. In fact, I may just try that right now. Because that's what I ended up doing with uh, Radiance. Is the Blue Blood build. Okay, so they combined Metroid with Castlevania to make one of the most influential genres in gaming. What other things could you combine with Castlevania to create great things? Uh, like a lot of things, really. Like I'm thinking dinner, like Dinnervania. Oh, Dinnervania. <laughs> we were talking about that before the stream because Grokken watches this during his dinner. Uh, let's see the spikes. We're going to try this. We're going to try a Joni build and just not try and heal at all. We'll give this one a shot. This is this is actually the build I used on Radiance when I beat Radiance the first time. Good old Radiance. 
So there's more fire quests after this. So in other words, this is the most efficient thing for me to do is to fight this guy now. I think? I don't know. I don't remember. I, I'm really missing out on that first hit. Although I don't know how important it is that I get that one. Okay, you definitely don't want to jump there. Hold on, I'll look it up. I know that there's another fight. But I don't remember if it's just a dream fight or not. Uh, it could be the dream fight. And of course the dream fight's harder. I think you said that last time that the dream fight is like amazingly hard. Yeah, the dream fight's bananas. I didn't beat the dream fight. Oof. Okay, so it does not want you to hit you hit them while they're firing off their bats, which is funny because it seems like the most like obvious open opening there. So it's always three. At least it seems that way. I may be throwing it off. Okay, so you can get a hit off after she fires the third one. By the way, I'm calling her a she. I don't have any idea whether or not that's accurate or not. <laughs> um, it's a bug. It's the eyes that and the hair that make me think feminine, but it could be just a bee shown in <laughs> for all I know. <laughs> Cars. Exactly. So it, I'm surprised there's there should be a Hollow Knight anime. I feel like that should be a thing. I'm actually really surprised that somebody hasn't tried to syndicate that yet. Because they usually animeize everything. I guess it's just not popular in Japan enough. I don't know what the popularity is like in Japan. I know The Undertale got really popular over there. To the point I that Toby. The Undertale did this one. Eh, they're not exactly the same thing. <laughs> Yeah, but one's so much better than the other. Like, to the point where Toby Fox, like, did a whole Japanese preview for something. Did he ever finish his second game that he was making? No, that, like, I still... School one? I think it came out, um, the Delta Rune thing. I think it came out in 2018 or something, and they're still... Okay, well, I'm getting good. It's, I'm starting to capture the pattern. Oh, except that I shouldn't dodge above him when he slashes sideways. His, his appearance before he does his side slash is similar to his uh, throwing fireballs, so whoop. I actually like these kind of patterns. I don't know why, I mean, there's something about them that just are fun to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, okay, so I need, to, I need to figure out what the telegraph is when he appears to throw fireballs and when he appears and he's about to slash. Because when he when he first appears, it looks a bit similar to me. It could be completely different, and I'm just messing it up. Oh. Good pattern, though. I like this boss. It's a good fun boss. Oh. <laughs> I do like the uh, turn into a gourd to throw fireballs. <laughs> Theming here, though. <laughs> like, why? Is that what he's doing? <laughs> I don't know. Like, he's just puffing up. I think is what he's thematically is what he's supposed to be doing. But it looks like a gourd to me. Oops. Come on, give me some patterns I can counter. There we go. So, if there was a, if there was an anime, should there be voice acting, or should they just make weird noises that should be like Kirby, uh, right back at you? What the? What is this? Uh oh, is oh, he, this is, is he a yeah, hollow? That's that's how you know you progressed him to the next phase. Well, it sounds like I've gotten too used to charging my attacks that I wasn't able to react well enough to that. Dope. I think we got this pretty probably next next attempt if I don't get it this one. Figuring out the pattern. Just gotta keep my focus and not think too much about Star Trek or whatever. <laughs> Oops. That's the easiest thing to counter is when he does his shotgun. I'm calling it a shotgun because it sounds a little bit like one. <laughs> 
and when I say a little bit like what I mean like fake video game shotguns, not like real life shotguns, because most shotguns don't sound like actual shotguns in video games. Whoops. Oh, and Grimm's, um... Welcome, Cactuar. Yeah, his, uh, when he turns into bats, that's his stagger. So, like a bunch of other boss fights. Oh, okay, so it's not really a, uh, that's your opportunity to heal if you're going that route. One of the things I like about the Joni build is that, um, I stop thinking about healing during the fight, which can be very distracting. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> so, I don't know, I'm just a fan of the Joni build. It's expensive, though. I need to find other patterns that I can counter more easily. Like this one, that one, if I can predict it better. Oops, I just gotta remember the explosion so up want, top. Do you want straps, <laughs> or are you still, are you still producing? Well, I've got this figured out, I think. I just need to keep it up. Let's see. See, if he just keeps doing that over and over again, he'll be dead in minutes. <laughs> I just need to get good at doing a different thing. I could probably counterattack him pretty decently here, although it's hard to predict where the uh, fireball is going to end up when I'm close to him. Yeah, it's not a... I don't think it's a uniform pattern. Yeah. No, it definitely isn't. Oh. Okay, yeah, I, I'm just going to not try and counterattack him on that one. When he does the down jump, though, that one's a good one. The fire at the top makes that counterattack pretty risky. I'm not saying you can't do it, but like this one's a good one. Do you have the the shadow dash yet? I do not, and that that was actually one of the things I was thinking about getting. Don't you have to do the white palace before you can get the shadow dash? If I can get that now, then that'd probably be the ideal thing for me to do next. I'm certain that most people fighting this guy probably had the Shadow Dash when they take him on, just because they probably did it after they'd beaten the game on their main file. Yeah. Oh yeah. That could be a deal. What I really could use is the, uh, the black um, fireball move. The upgraded. Like right now all I have is Shade the... Soul. Yeah. Because, you know, when you're using the Joni build, the whole point of it is it's so you can focus on spells. Overkill. Alright, let's see if I can get it right. We'll give it two more tries, and then we'll try and upgrade ourselves. Did you say that there was other forms after this one, or is this the final part of the, like, vanilla event? Oh. Does he get more aggressive if you hit him while he's standing there? <laughs> oh, no, I don't think so. I think you just make him mad. It is kind of rude. <laughs> he's like, he's on, all being man, polite. And then you just start punching him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> he's all being nice and polite. Okay. We're getting this. Oops. Yeah. Okay, never, never say you're doing it <laughs> before you've done it. <laughs> Yeah, because right now I think it's not worth using my fireballs. Because I don't think they do as much damage as my charged nail. What the? Yeah, hell? but you could, you could like. Well, Get too close. What I forget is the blue orb build that you can't heal. Yes. That's half the point of it. Is if you're having a hard time healing, it's just a good way to get basically pre heals. I don't think I hit with that one. Whoops. I thought I still had my double jump and. Apparently, one tactic is to just tank his pufferfish form and uh -huh. just take the hits and sit there and wail on him as long as possible. Yeah, well, that seems like a viable option. I think what I'm doing is working. I just need to keep it up. Like, this is. How many times he staggers? This is the perfect time for me to start using fireballs, I think. 
I just dodged right into that goofy me. I like this fight though, it's really cool. Yeah, it was a great fight. <sighs> too late, too late. Don't. Okay, one of the things I really need to get better at is not dodging into those fireballs when they come from the ceiling. Anyway, he hasn't staggered at all. How many times does he stagger? There we go. Uh, I'm trying to find how many. Like, if I'm not using my soul, then Joni is probably not my best option, because I could probably just heal while he's staggered. Joni kind of became my default having a hard time build, though. Oh, yeah, no. It's, that's why I love this game, because there's so many things that you can go oh. back to. Okay, shooting fireballs at him is something I need to practice more, apparently. You like Poe going off of Grimm? Hmm, that might be something I think about. I'm going to stick to this. I think it's working. I just need to get good at it. It's not my complete Radiance build. Poe going off of Grimm. I could see that. I'm going to let him bow because I'm not rude. I mean, you are. <laughs> Technically, he's the one being rude. Wait, what? His health scales with how many nail upgrades you have. Oh, well, that's interesting. I wonder if all the bosses do that. And that's probably... Wow, I just totally lost... I don't know what just happened there. I think that was controller failure. I, like, hit the wall for no reason. I was not letting go of the button. Interesting. Yeah, he had, for nails 0, 1, and 2, he has 800 health. For 3, he has 930 health. And for 4, he has 1,000 health. Oh, well, that's interesting. I wonder if mathematically that comes out to be the same breaking points, essentially. Well, I mean, the first 3 are all 800. Sure. Yeah, it seems like the best time. Well, maybe not, because 800 is a lot of hit points to get through. Anyway, it doesn't sound like it's punishing, per se, you getting the nail upgrades. It's just keeping the fight relevant. Oh, and you get a charm notch for pulling this fight off. Cool. A notch? Wow. That's amazing. All right. Well, I think I've screwed this one up a little too much, but we'll see if I can one damage it. You never give up. You can always learn things while you're trying to dodge. In fact... Sometimes this is the best time to learn how to dodge, is because you, you don't have a choice. <laughs> True. Get good. Yeah. Whoa, okay. So I want to try... Nope, 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 nope. Okay, so yeah, you can get a few shots off on. Oh yeah. Grim always bows to the knight before the start of the fight. If struck while bowing, he screeches at them and starts his puffer fishing. Oh, so you can predict him to do the puffer chip. Is that the second stagger? How many times does he stagger before he dies? That's a good one. Uh, that's actually what I'm trying to find. <laughs> oh, does it not give you that info? Oh! I don't know. I think as I'm learning the pattern, I can find times to heal, but I don't know. Oh, wow. This is the only boss to have music variation audio cues for some of the events. When Grim performs Pufferfish Attack, the theme gets more dramatic by advancing a chorus in the background. Yeah, the stagger you can definitely heal, but that's only like occasionally. I think if I could guarantee that I start with some soul, then making him start with the Pufferfish would be the best option to start the fight. But since you die, you lose all your soul. That's not really... Thank goodness you hover after a charge attack. I'm 
the delay on the shot. Whoops, I thought I had more shot than that. Oh well. I think that's the first time I've been hit this fight, so it's not I'm not doing too bad. And sorry if I'm not reading all the commentary. <laughs> I hope that's understandable. <laughs> So far, this fight doesn't feel like it's particularly difficult. It's just got a challenging pattern. It's a good pattern. This is my definition of a good boss fight. I cannot for the life of me find how many times he staggers. And it doesn't matter. He's we'll, we'll count him. We'll add this to the wiki. We're gonna we're gonna provide this information. So that's one. <laughs> Holy crud! That was the, that was pathetic. <laughs> whiff, whiff, whiff. You're hitting everything around him except for him. <laughs> Whoops! Can you do damage with the nail when he's in that mode? I hope so. I'm hitting him like I've done it. All right, he's it's made the hit sound. Oh, right. I got too greedy there. I was too focused on trying to hit him during that phase. I have too many health, which means I take more risks. I should probably start fireballing, but I'm gonna just hold my charge for now. Oh, that was close. No, why did I do that? <laughs> Come on. Still have what, six hit points? He turned white there, so that means that I think I got him. Nope. That was definitely not a hit. Oh. Looking up. Apparently Q he staggers has, once. Q has not even... Uh, oh, there we go. Yeah. This is the first time you beat uh, Grim. Yeah, this is a blind fight, everyone, by the way. I mean, technically we did it last week. Oh, look at their little hand clap. It's so cute. So now, we, oh, we gotta talk to him now. <laughs> Bro, my friend, why am I talking to him as beat back? And why didn't he turn around? Now he's being rude. Hear the, how the crowd adores you. They've not seen, uh, seen such a show in a long time. See, it's just a polite fight. That's why he gets mad at you when you hit him. Oh, he's got a red belly now. Look here, our, how, our, how our child has grown. Uh oh. Nourished and strengthened <laughs> by the heat of our passionate dance. The two of you will feature many tragedies and triumphs together, I'm sure. And so our great ritual nears its end. Will you continue to harvest the flame, even though now you surely see the path it illuminates for us? Our scarlet eyes watch you keenly, friend. And now you have a uh, bonkers hard fight to look forward to. Oh, good. We will complete our dance afterwards. But hey, look, this is one more. Oh, this is the charm notch, which is really nice. Yeah, that's a great... Great reward. I, I did bow back. At least I think I did. Sort of. <laughs> How do I have only one Joni life left? I thought I had more than that. <laughs> Skinny your teeth. I guess so. I didn't think I was that close. <laughs> I thought I had six. Something happened there. All right, we got to get off this Joni bill because that is not good for exploration. Oh, dude. Okay. Don't freak out. But there's somebody in chat that can get you famous. <laughs> <laughs> is it my best friend, Six Quan Banana eight eight eight? No, no, no. It's your other friend, Six Quan Appa eight eight eight. I don't even remember what other I think, terms didn't I we used. Go, didn't we go to high school with him? <laughs> oh, possibly. <laughs> oh shoot, where is it? It's oh, the charm for the upgraded grin. Shape of moon. It's very creepy. Quick focus. And then I get an extra point, which is nice. Yeah, it's like bleeding in its eyes. Uh, we'll go with the Nail Masters. Eh, I'm not really using that when I'm exploring, though. You know what? I'm going to take the Grub Song. Yeah. I need to give Nick um, ability to kick, kick bots. It's not a huge deal. Yeah, it's not like we get super spammed every week. It's interesting that that started, though. All right, so what we need to do is green path. I want to go buy those charms. 
that um, you upgrade them, right? It's like you have to own them first. Yeah, you gotta buy them normally, but they're cheap. They're like six hundred bucks. And that's the guy off to the right here, right? Or where is that guy? Is he in Fog Canyon? I think he's in uh, Fog Canyon. Yeah, I think he's in Fog Canyon. Is there a Fog Canyon thing? I think this is the closest one. So I'm gonna go down and then just to the right and then down. I think that's where he is. Yeah, they send the one message and that's it. So if you guys want to become famous, please don't click that link because. <laughs> I'm starting to think that maybe clicking that link won't make you famous. I'm pretty sure that clicking that link is going to give you a malware of some kind. <laughs> I love all these claims. Like, it's just even a tertiary understanding of how to become famous should tell you that clicking somebody's random link on the internet isn't going to get you there. Yeah, but it doesn't. It doesn't need to work all the time. It just needs to work once every 10,000 times, and they make money. Yeah, well, th for them, sure. Oh, uh, you know what I forgot to equip? I forgot to equip the, the, the bugs that pick things up, so I'm going to have to grab a... Oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Mar doesn't kill me anymore. I was like, oh, no, I'm falling in the water. And then he's just like, ah, that feels nice. Yeah, you have to pick up the money like a pleb. Yeah... I'm not used to that, so we're going to lose a lot of money on this trip. Those little paltry plus nines and plus threes. Okay, we're going to get there as quickly as we can. I want to buy those because then I think I can buy the... Um, oh, that was close too. Uh, the last charm notch. Oh, yeah. Where do you buy... Okay, where is this? Where is this guy? Where is this guy who sells that stuff? He. I thought he was in these areas. Isn't he in the teachers' arc? No, he's not. In the teacher's he's not in the teachers' archives. No, I thought he was here. Wait, no. Go to your. Like, I kind of want. Maybe he's. Huh. Oh, oh, oh! See that dead end? I think that's where he is. Middle so is he now. above the the creature that gives you the bestiary? Oh wait, is that what that dead end is? Is that the beast here? So there's the, there was the, the dead end with the face. Okay, we're gonna go up. He might be the he no. actually he might be by the bench right here. So let's go do that. Let's go check there. I think he might yeah. be by the bench. Get out of here! You don't. We're looking here. for the guy that sells the breakable charms. Yeah, I'm trying to get the because I think that that'll get me up to the ten charms I need in order to. Uh, he's not here. This isn't it. Wait, go back to your map? This is a place I haven't been before. Let's go do this yeah. real quick. Oh, wait. I think this is the dark place, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I haven't done this before. Have I? I like that you bought the lantern as, like, one of the very first things to buy. Is this where you get the, um, the, the, the dark... Shotgun. Okay, so it definitely uh, haven't been this here. This is where you fight. Oh no, it's just a mask bit. It could be just a mask bit. Well, I haven't been here because it's not on my map. So. I like that statue was sitting there for like thousands of years, and you just smashed it. <laughs> it's okay. Somebody puts it back up. I don't know who, but. <laughs> somebody following oh, you. Oh, I, I guess we're fighting somebody now. Oh yeah, spooky ghost. Yeah, let's fight precious children ghost. No eyes. Man, look at those look at those luxurious locks. In in hindsight, I probably should have healed before this and slept at that bench. <laughs> Do you attack the Oh no you don't. You attack Whoa! <laughs> Cause we definitely need dream power. Grumbles. Although I can't remember what you need the dream power for. You just get one of the Void things. It's just charge attacks. Seems to be working well for me this playthrough. Something I was commenting to Nick about before the stream was just how lost I still am, even though I've played this before. It's been three years, but like <laughs> how comically hard it's been for us to find the bees, even though we remember finding them accidentally on I mean, our first playthroughs. I think maybe it's because when 
you play through this the first time, you just kind of explore around organically. You're not really looking for anything. Right. You just stumble upon it. Which is honestly one of the magics of this game, but well, so far this fight seems very kind of like you get plenty of time to heal. It's just yeah, finding him in the dark. Turns you into like a little worm. I should probably have slashed a few times instead of starting my charge again there, but whatever. Yeah, he's too far away. I didn't get my long nail. Uh, it does get messier in here, I'll say that. Your little buddy's actually helping, assuming he's doing actual decent damage. It'd be nice if he, like, shot where he was so I could know where he was without having yeah, to wander for it. I think you have to get too close. There we go. What was the thing you learned about the whirlwind slash master? We're not even gonna listen to you. We're just gonna, because I'm not gonna read it right now. <laughs> Is that up to 700? Is that how many we need for the last upgrade? Um. The teleport? No, it's like 2,000 for the last one. Oh, jeez. Yeah, we need to actually do some dream fights in order to get to that. All right, so I don't think there's anything else. See, I told you somebody brings it back. <laughs> I don't think there's anything else that... Uh... Well, apparently, if you're spinning, you can keep hitting attack, and it'll just keep going. I don't think there's anything else in that room, I mean, besides the heart piece and the... So now we just need to find charms. Really? And then the tram pass, and then the bees. So you, you last longer if you keep pressing attack. Let's 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 test this. So this is normal. Yeah. Huh? Oh, so you can kind of helicopter down doing that. Neat. That's kind of cool. He's not by this bench. Where is he? Is he okay? Is he in Green Path or is he in Fog Canyon? I I feel like he's okay. See right above you. There's that not right above you, but there was like a dead end that looks like a broken bottle. Maybe he's in there. Maybe I should use the helicopter more often. All right, let's look in the broken ball because we're in the area. <laughs> so just like we were saying just now, we we're really surprised at how easy it is to get lost in this. For some reason, I think he's in. Thought he was in Green Path, but he could have been in Fog Canyon. Okay, this this is the bestiary, so we don't need this. I can't go up there. Oh, we have to go around. Oh wait, I did have the flying bugs attack. Equipped. How come they weren't working earlier? He's in neither. Okay, so where is he? <laughs> All right, so this is where the, the map man is. All right, well, we're gonna save warp out of here because obviously we're just going. All right, Nick, look that up while I go get the tram key because I know where the tram key is or the tram card. God. So. <sighs> Pardon my ignorance, but is there a way to look at your map? Like, ah, oh, look at this. Is he in Queen's Garden? He's not in Queen's Gardens. All right, so we got the Stone Sanctuary. Okay, he's, um... Is he right here? I think you... he's right here. All right. Did you look in Broken Bottle? He's in Fungal Wastes, not Fog Canyon. And there's a tram right there. Is that the fastest way or is the fastest way to go down from here? Is that going to be blocked off, I guess, is the question. Let's take a look. Oh, geez, his name is Leg Eater. It's okay. He leaves the rest of you okay. He's not a monster. Not everybody needs two legs, Nick. Oh yeah, Leg Eater is found in a camp in the Fungal Wastes near the entrance to the Forgotten Crossroads. <laughs> oh, and if you wear the Defender's Crest Charm, he appreciates the smell and sells and repairs his charms at a 20% discount. Oh, neat. Help. I did not know this secret. Oh, you just explode, man. Okay, so there's a... 
Oh, I just missed it. Yeah, we'll get it next time. Oh. Wait, they, add, they add side story content with the Grim Troop. Do we go down from here or is this blocked off now? Or do we go left here? My map is telling me that I can go this way. But I can't seem to go this way. Alright, go into your fungal wastes map. Alright, so... Uh, do I need to go up and left? And then, hold on, and then leave it open. Uh, Sorry, I need to go that? this way. I know where he is, I'm just getting to him. Yeah, he's like off to the side in a little, like, domed area. Near the top. I think he's right here. Poor little balloon friends. Yeah. It's funny that I get these places confused because they're nothing like each other. There he is. I like how you have to pay him before he even lets you see the charms. He's Costco. <laughs> the Costco bug. That sounds like a good subtitle for today's stream. Alright, so if I remember correctly, because of the new block-offs, the best way to get to the charm seller is not to go to the... there. Uh, how do you zoom in? That's, that's not zooming in. <laughs> or can you zoom in? I don't think you can. So, I think... I think actually the best way to get there is to just climb back up where I am, instead of teleporting out, so let's do that. We'll get our last charm notch, and if I believe I am correct, that puts us at the maximum number of charm slots you can have. Ow. That was an off-screen attack, and I'm not appreciative of that. Luckily, taking damage in this game is not too uh, troublesome. Sleep. Staying at benches in this game is... Oh, I don't want to go that way. It's problematic because you can use them as a warp so often. That's true. When you do this slash, though, you can kind of hover as well, and I was using that during the fight. I wonder if that can be used to uh, sequence break. I think by the time you have that, you're past everything that you need. Yeah, I guess that's true. <laughs> don't die. I'm not going to die. Just because I'm at one hit point doesn't mean I'm anywhere near death. I, I think that's literally what that means. <laughs> it's not true. If I have any soul, then I technically have lots of health left. It's just a matter of waiting for it. Yeah, if I have medical insurance, I'm technically invincible, but... <laughs> Okay, if medical insurance worked like this, Man, I, th how I think that that would be? solve the problems. <laughs> like if you got cut and then you just go outside and wail on someone's face and then you can use... <laughs> you know how people would just beat each other up in like the grocery stores? <laughs> it's like my appendix is bursting, quick, get over here, no! Like there'd, like there'd be like really beefy people that are super tough that you could hire to come to your house and you could beat on them a little bit and then use what you get to heal yourself. <laughs> That's what the fat guys were for in in the city of tears. That's that's like what their job was. That should. I feel like there's. A, <laughs> I feel like you could make a game with that as a mechanic, and that'd be some solid commentary. I don't know. Does this fall under Ludo narrative nonsense? <laughs> no, nah, man. It's all about. It's like I remember there was a movie where. Everybody had like a set amount of time before they died and you could like buy more time And so like the rich people were all like 200 years old and poor people Basically never had more than like the day that they were living before they would run out <laughs> 40 charms, I didn't even know that it was that many So I assume that's when you get this whole thing filled Yeah, that's probably all the charms except for hers Yeah It hurts me you keep taking two mass damage from those explosive guys. I'm still alive, right? <laughs> I need to finish getting um, all the mass pieces because I'm two health behind, or one health behind, but I 
beat the game with and two health behind the maximum. He's just trying to make the explosive guys feel better about themselves. Imagine how embarrassed you'd be if you blew yourself up and then, like, nothing happened. Okay, so I believe that the tram key is, like, over here somewhere. And uh, so the yeah. fastest way to get there... Well, there's a fire right there, and I believe that the tram for the... Did I not get the tram in Deep Nest? I thought I did. I have all the trams. Do you have the tram in Distant Village? Oh, that's what this is. This is the tram. All right, so there's a flame over there, so let's grab that while we're in the area. So, yeah, let's do that. And I feel we'll like there's a fight in Distant Village, too, but I don't remember you going there. Did you go there when I wasn't here? Yeah, yeah. And there's not a fight there. It's just one of the... Um... I don't even know why I still Were have you... this. I remember, like, you getting drugged or something. Or, like, bundled up or captured or something over there. Yeah, yeah. Um, that happens, but there's not, like, a boss fight. Oh, it's just a bunch of, like, maze-like tunnels and stuff that you can go through. This place seems a lot brighter than I remember. Maybe I turned the brightness up on my television without thinking about it. Uh, I guess Did the flame is inside here. Blood. Oh, hi. Do I fight you now? You came. Red flame I've gathered from this dead kingdom. Would you claim it for our master for his final act? The ritual plays itself out once more. We are like the notes in an old, old song, you and me. In mm. oh, this repeating... Guy? Yeah, I think it might be. Repeating songs of sacrifice, of servitude, for the ritual, for the troop, for the master. Even this child was born into invisible chains. Mm. So, we serve, just as it has ever been, yes? Take the flame, then. That is why you came here. Wow. Uh, I like this more. <laughs> the flame, Mr. Annoying. It's done, yeah. and yet, it is merely by fortune that we meet here in the darkness. For this reaches of the world where my master's scarlet eyes cannot see us. Mm, a song that never ends is no song that, at all. You take part in the ritual, yet I sense you truly have no master, is it so? Perhaps together we can banish that livid flame and let this king dead kingdom rest in peace. If you so wish to silence this endless song, meet, where meet me where it began. But if you return to the master and complete the ritual, as long as you do it without regret, I bear you no hatred. Ah, so we have to have a choice. Uh... I mean, I guess I want to end the song, because, I don't know, Grim doesn't seem like that bad a guy. <laughs> At least compared to everybody that we've met so far. I mean, no, make we, sure. We've met some decent people. I mean, they then died, but... Sure. <laughs> okay. We haven't explored down here, so as long as we're in the neighborhood, we might as well. Although I don't think there's anything down here, so I don't know what I'm doing here. Maybe it's a shortcut. Yeah, we do plan on fighting MKG. Oh, hi. I, I just ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, Dad. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, we do want to fight Nightmare King Grimm. Is that is that what leads up to this? So if you want to fight my Nightmare King Grimm, do you have to complete the ritual, or do you... I think so. I know you fight him in the Pantheon. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, please don't be shy. There's some nasties about here, all right? But not me. I'm friendly and happy to serve a dweller as bold as you. <laughs> I don't think that she gives you anything or gives you... I think it's just information. Whoa! <laughs> Bye. <laughs> That's what I get for skipping dialogue. <laughs> She's like, I'm hungry. <laughs> okay, so... I guess you don't bring the flames back if you don't want to fight Nightmare King Grim. Wait, how do I get out of here? Where's the platform? Yeah, bring the bring the flames back to Grim. All right. How 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 do I how do I leave this place? I guess I'll just warp out of here. Oh yeah, you just this is the rest of the game down here. <laughs> Hollow Knight puddle splash is that. Hollow Knight. <laughs> Puddle Splash. <laughs> I would totally the, play a Hollow Knight card. It's the fourth DLC. <laughs> fourth DLC. Was there only three? I thought there was more than that. It seemed like they kept just kept updating this game. Mm. 
Okay. So my controversial opinion is that I do not like charge attacks. I would prefer games that don't... I prefer not having charge attacks because usually they're good enough to use and I don't like using them because it hurts my hands after a while. <laughs> so like Mega Man or whatever. I prefer Mega Man 2 and Mega Man 9 and 10. Wow, so you go from 2 to 9 and 10. So like 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Uh, oh. four, four, 4 through... No, they're not terrible. 4 through... Uh, uh, I just prefer not having the charge attack. You heard it here, folks. Q thinks that uh, Mega Man 3 through 9 are the worst games ever made. <laughs> three doesn't have, or 3 doesn't have a charge attack, but it also has a whole lot of other problems that make what it was my, the one, not my favorite. Uh, so what Mega Man did I have growing up? I had... Which one had Electric Man? Master also doesn't like charge attacks. Electric Man was the first one. Wait, really? Yep. Okay, then it wasn't that. What was the one where the little, like, microchips, like, appear and disappear, and it makes the noise? Uh, every single one. <laughs> the Yoku blocks are in every game. I don't think there's a Mega Man without Yoku blocks. But uh, you're probably thinking Mega Man 3. Spark Man? Did you, do you remember? Oh, it was Spark Man. You're right, it was Spark Man. Gemini. 3 is the one that I had growing up. Yeah. That was the, that was the one in our uh, NES box. Oh, Master doesn't like Mega Man, huh? Come on, Mega Man's the best. Eh. It's classic, man. I keep looking for that Before Mega Man Metroid Metroidvania. Mania, Mega Man was Q's, like, go-to greatest thing of all time. <laughs> like, if I was going to summarize Q's game opinions over the years that I've known him, it goes, Mega Man, Dark Souls, Metroidvania. <laughs> I am going the wrong way. I mean, unless I you want to go to the map. Garden. No, I don't want to go to the Queen's Garden. I don't like her. Or her garden. It's so try-hard. No, the Queen's Garden is where they... They say, dun, dun, dun. Another one rides the bus. Oh, wait, that's the Weird Al version of it. <laughs> is that even Queen? Uh, another one rides... Another uh, one bites another the one dust. Is, I think it's Queen. Dust. I'm pretty sure that's yeah, Queen. Get Steve walks warily do down the street. Ugh, fine. Going way down low. Nothing the sound but the sound of his feet. Machine gun's ready to go. Wait, machine gun's ready to go? What is that song about? <laughs> it's about peaceful uh, pro protests in the 60s. Come on. How did I do this before? I think you stand just the right distance. Okay. The, how you really do is you let the grim thing fit. Beat it up. <laughs> He's pulling his weight, man. He was totally worth it. Oh, this song's super dark. What the heck? <laughs> Machine gun's ready to go. Are you ready? Hey, are you ready for this? Are you hanging on the edge of your seat? Out of the doorway, the bullets rip to the sound of the beat. And popular songs today are, Hey, I, I know we just met, and this seems crazy. But here's my number. <laughs> Call so me, please, maybe. So please abduct me. <laughs> please abduct me, right? <laughs> Who do I think is buying the dust? I need to listen to the full lyrics before I start okay. making yeah, let me see if I can historical find. analysis of what they're actually talking about. Another fun one that's fun to interpret is the Hotel California. Like, what the heck are they singing about? Hey, we're back to talking about old stuff again this week. <laughs> Sure. Yeah, but we're going old, even further back. Talking about old people stuff. <laughs> Although I guess Queen was technically before our time. Holy cow. Later in the song. Ooh, take it. Bite the dust. Bite the dust. <laughs> <laughs> it literally just sounds like somebody gunning people down. <laughs> oh, there's another flame really close to this. That's really close. I guess we'll go over there after we find this tram that we missed last time we were down here. Oh, look, another one of these. All right, let's do it. Uh, I should probably heal myself first, though. And probably use a bench that's closer by. <laughs> I should also get that uh, um, grub that's in this area. 
Uh, I guess I'll use this for this fight, just because I'm not in the best shape right now. Alright, hopefully this fight's easy and I can do it in one shot. Hey, right, we're not talking to you. I apologize for those that want me to read all the lore, but... These guys, usually it's blah blah blah. My life was great until and I'm here doing my duty or something. This is death. He looks like a turtle. His, his, his pattern is death from Castlevania. Oh. He's got a scythe. He's throwing more scythes. Oh gosh, come on. Oh yeah, it is kind of like pumped up kicks. That was hilarious. That was like, I don't know, what I want to say, 2012, 2013, where like that song was everywhere for the summer. Like you'd be walking through coals and hear pumped up kicks. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. It's like a homing scythe somehow. Remember, remember I heard the, the head of that band, uh, I want to say Foster the People? Um, but he was like, yeah, I don't really understand why that became like a summer anthem. I don't think people actually listen to the words. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. No, most people don't. Bye, turtle. Thanks for the hundred gold. I'm calling it gold now. They look like little coins. Oh, that was like 200. Nice. All right, well. We're making progress. Even this is this is a summary of this playthrough. All right, we're gonna go get the bees, and then we do everything but the bees, <laughs> or anything but the bees. We're gonna make it to the bees today. We still got forty minutes. Yeah, we're gonna get to the bees. Totes. Why did I get dream stuff from that guy just now? Did you just get random dream drops? I don't remember that. Alright, this is the area. This is where the tram key is. The best part is we get to find the tram after this. Wait a minute. Failed tramway. I thought I could land on that thing just now. I just fell right through it. It's so nice having a fully upgraded nail. That wall looked like it was breakable. The Marvel villain just dumped you? Oh gosh, please don't say that's a Marvel villain. The feast is like the most ancient name. <laughs> what do you mean? You uh, mean they copied the Marvel bad guy? <laughs> that's like the uh, Undertale or Cave Story ripped off Undertale thing. Hey, right, what's going on here? Get myself lost again. But. I don't have a map right now. Not until I die. Oh yeah, I'm almost positive this is the way to the tram key. Yeah, if I was playing this like I would normally, I probably would have found this because I would have more thoroughly explored this, but I was just like, nope, we're here to get the dream thing and then leave. <laughs> so it's funny how in a second playthrough it's so easy to miss things. I like the tram key is in a crashed tram. You're like, mmm, I can't wait to ride this infrastructure. <laughs> to be fair, it looks like that most of the track has been fallen into horrible disuse. True. Okay, so there's another thing up here which I don't want to deal with right now. I think somebody, like, I don't remember how many you can get. I think it's like 30 health points. Like if you go around and collect all of them. Oh, really? It's more than I would have thought. <laughs> Something about you guys comes off as having played excessive amounts of Diablo 2 20 years ago. I did not. Um, in fact, while that was really popular, I kind of stopped playing games for a little while. <clears throat> I didn't. Did you, you didn't play Diablo. Then Nick didn't play Diablo 2. What was it you were playing at that time? Uh, I like, don't know, Starcraft? When that was popular. Yeah, Starcraft was... Starcraft was your thing, I remember that. Well, and then Fallout 1 and 2. Those were, for decades, uh, my favorite games of all time. That wasn't really when Diablo 2 was, like, the biggest thing. Would you no, stop? I'm trying to look at my map. 
<laughs> this thing keeps burrowing up and knocking me outside. Although Q did play a lot of WoW. I did play WoW. I did not play as much as some people that I played with. And that was part of the reason why I quit. Because, like, I'd be like, yeah, I'm playing WoW, yeah, I'm level 20. And it's like, yeah, so am I. All right, let's play together. And we play a dungeon together. I'm like, the next week, I'm like, all right, well, do you want to play another dungeon? And he's like, yeah, I'm level 40. I'm like, what the? <laughs> <laughs> Fallout 2. In fact, Fallout 2 was the one that, well, I don't know. I'm, I was about to say, I think I liked it first, but it was also the one I played first, so that undoubtedly has an impact. <laughs> I kind of like Fallout 1 more than Fallout 2. I understand from a gameplay mechanics perspective that Fallout 2 is probably the superior one, but... The, the reason I liked Fallout 2 more is I like... The thing I liked about Fallout is rebuilding society and the uh -huh. different ways that people rebuild society. And Fallout 2, you saw a lot of advancement from Fallout to Fallout 2. Like, the cities are more well put together. You've got the NCR that actually feels like a real town. Um, and that's also one of the major things that I feel like Bethesda didn't understand. Sure. Yeah, that for whatever reason, we're building shanty huts. Even when yeah, like Fallout 4, when you build huts, they're like, these yeah, are apocalypse huts. <laughs> Instead like, of... 200 years in the future and they're still building stuff out of like the scrap metal that they pull off right sheds you I mean, think it that make sense. you think that they would build like a normal house at the very least right <laughs> yeah like vault city in fallout 2 they built new structures they left the vault and they built new buildings they didn't right. just like stay in the vault no granted that was like the control vault so they didn't have to deal with a bunch of nonsense like all the other vaults did but still like they, they built a town I can't go up this way. That disappoints me. All right, save warp. That's actually Fallout Three is a Fallout theme park is a great way to describe Fallout Three. <laughs> and there's a lot more wrong about Fallout Three besides it being a theme park, but yes. <laughs> I mean, at least in Fallout Four, they did the like settlements thing, which a lot of people were annoyed by, but I thought that actually tied back into the rebuilding society. Now, granted, the buildings you can build all look like garbage, but at least you're rebuilding. It's not, we have nowhere to live. Let's live in this aircraft carrier for some reason. Right. Yeah. Yeah, it was a weird... It's kind of, it's just illogical. <laughs> it's really the only way to describe it. I'm going to go get this flame real quick, even though I should probably go straight to the bees so I can make make good on my promise that we're going to fight the bees today. And then I never played 76, which, you know what? I got to hand it to Bethesda. Unlike nearly every other company that released a game as a service game that wasn't immediately successful, they stuck with it and kept releasing updates. Yeah. Well, New Vegas is aggregate because the people already live in huts in the desert. They actually live in actual buildings in New Vegas. Now, there isn't any evidence that they built those buildings, but um, they did repurpose actual buildings. Yeah, and they, like, fix them up. Like, the casinos don't all look like they're rotting and falling down. Right. Yeah, that was the weirdest thing about the village thing in Fallout 4, is it's just, it's like, for whatever reason. And I did get the feeling in... In New Vegas, that they were rebuilding some buildings, like especially the NCR. Yeah. Like the NCR checkpoint right at the border into California. Those, I feel like those buildings were constructed by the NCR. I did not get the grub walls in the deep nest. We'll do a grub hunt later on, I guess. But we'll try and get the grub that's here. Okay, what is this? That New Vegas was made by the people that made Fallout 1 and 2, so it kind of makes sense that they'd get it. Yes. I still haven't watched H-Bomber Guy's Fallout New Vegas' genius video. I'm interested because I liked his Fallout 3 is garbage video. Oh, yeah. Kaisar made his camp. Although, that's just like tents and stuff. I like how you pronounce it, Kaisar. That's how they pronounce it in the game. Some people do. I guess maybe the, the the people who follow him pronounce it that way, which would be the most correct way, if you want to make that argument. Did anyone actually ever... I wonder if there's like a breakdown. How many people sided with the NCR and how many sided with Kaisar? I don't know. Isn't there achievements based off of that? Oh, maybe. 
So, okay, um, I don't think I fought the Mantis Lords. Have I fought the Mantis Lords? I might have during the week that you're not here, Nick. Mm. I don't actually but I don't actually remember fighting the Mantis Lords, so I don't think I have. I think we went down there, but you didn't fight them. You're going to kick the tar out of them. Yeah, it's going to be super easy now. Right now, I'm just trying to get to that. No, nope, I haven't fought the Mantis Lords because the Mantis Village isn't done. <laughs> I'm just trying to get to this flame. <laughs> We're not getting to the bees, are we? <sighs> I told you, it's becoming a meme at this point. <laughs> the bees are the new collector. It's like that, it's like that uh, up, the, the squirrel. Yay, yay, yay. That's the beauty of this game. I apologize to anybody who's just like, all right, we're going to watch some bees this morning. And they're just like, nah, we're going to go do something else. As they, as they just slowly die. We're going to go We're gonna go fight the mantis lords. Slowly die. I hope nobody's watching that's like terminal. <laughs> no, no, I just like because they're sad. Like on their hospital they, bed. It's like all I wanted. Of, they had a lot invested. Make a wish. There were... It reminds me, there's a there's a South Park episode where Stan has to coach like a, a Pee Wee League hockey team, and due to ridiculous South Park things, they get pit against um, the professional team in Colorado, like the full adults. And there's a kid with like some terminal illness, and he's like, "Coach, win one for me." And he's like, ah, oh, geez, I don't know if we're going to do that. And then the game comes around, and the kids just get absolutely brutalized. <laughs> like, the, the adults just treat them like adults and just smack them around. And then it cuts to the kid in the hospital, and he's like, no hope, and dies. <laughs> that sounds like South Park. Oh, gosh, it's so dark. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to get this grub because it's going to be a long walk back if I don't get it now. How come I didn't get this grub before? Probably because they're talking about Fallout, and New Vegas. Why didn't they make Van Buren? It would have been so good. This is this is Nick's like. He wakes up at midnight sometimes. Like Van Buren is oh, not. Dude, like does not exist. That's 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 the number one regret in my whole life that I had nothing to do with is that Van Buren never got finished. <laughs> It was such a cool idea, and all the locations were cool, and I've gone over all the design docs. I want that game so bad. So swinging back to the whole uh, Diablo 2 thing, I actually was very surprised when I initially found out that people bought and sold items on Diablo 2. Like, 40 bucks for some purple item was what... Like, I talked to somebody in college that was telling me about how they made a lot of money off of selling that I stuff. Well, I think that's why they introduced the auction house is because oh, people sure. were doing it like illegitimately, and they were like, "Well, let's get a cut of that." It was completely baffling to me at the time that somebody would pay for something digital like that, that amount of money for a I single mean, piece of equipment in a game that you could go collect yourself if you took enough time. To be fair, it would have been completely baffling to me that people will pay twenty dollars for a skin in a game like Fortnite. Yeah. Remember when, uh, oh, apparently I've gotten very quiet. Maybe I need to turn you up. Are you just getting comfortable, Nick, and just not... Leaning, yeah, maybe I'm leaning back. I got the mic in front of me. I'll just grab it. my face. I'll just grab Discord and turn up your volume real quick. Put you at 110% and see how you do. All right. Let's I always give 110%. Oh, gosh. Yeah, you're really loud. <laughs> Woo! -hoo! This always happens. It's, it's the most annoying thing about setting these things up. <laughs> Your little buddy uh, dances when you hold still. He's like, everybody dance now. Oh, my gosh. I'm just getting eaten by these things. Oh, my gosh. And that was not the right place to try and scurry away. I'm just making Master happy. That's all. It's, you're, you're, you're going for that achievement where you get hit by every explosion. No, I'm just trying to make sure the master like grits all of his teeth away. Is <laughs> <laughs> <It's just, laughs> like spitting little bits of his teeth out. <laughs> oh gosh. But yeah, in World of Warcraft, 
I so okay. Here's the thing about doing things you regret: is that it's easy to not regret things when you learn, think about the lessons you learned about it from them. Uh, I just fell through a hole in the wall, completely unintentionally, and I hope that no enemies drop it on me. So but, what did you learn playing uh, World of Warcraft? I, I learned about a lot of things that I don't like, <laughs> and maybe it improved my ability to criticize things because I've had to explain why I don't like. MMORPGs to a lot of people. And not to say that you shouldn't like MMORPGs, but... I think if you have finite money and infinite time, MMOs could be a valid thing. Oh, no, absolutely. That is that is a completely valid argument. Like, if you played only World of Warcraft and you're only spending $15 a month on that, I bet if you took my entire budget for Metroidvania games from this year and you know put it into a monthly fee... They would probably be, you know, getting double the value that I'm getting out of the time, and this is this is strictly measuring value for time. Really, but I mean, how many how many islands with pandas are there in the Metroidvanias you've played? Uh, well, there's a game called Super Panda Adventures. So, uh, <laughs> 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 to be fair, I actually thought that Panda Pandaria was one of my or was my favorite expansion out of the ones that, you know. I played. I didn't play all of them. I did not play. I just remember people talking about it being stupid and bad. I, I didn't. Uh, I was... haven't played one minute of World of Warcraft. Okay. All of the lore in World of Warcraft is stupid and bad. Oh, he he, he shoots. Uh, he shoots pylons of fire at you, and I'm way back here. Ugh. Wait, how did you? Oh, because I haven't rested at any benches because I'm trying to save it for a save war. That guy was way harder than I expected. It's all good. We gotta ramp it up. I gotta ramp it up. Does this show where my thing died? Yeah. Is there a faster way to get to that? I mean, if you don't care about getting back down there, you can sell one of your ran rancid eggs. Yeah. Where do you do that? Is it off to the right? Yeah, it's all the way up and to the right. You get your stuff. You get your geo back that way, right? Yeah. Okay. I think. Well, that's fine. I mean, it would kind of defeat the purpose if you didn't. Do I need a key? Oh. Well, let's find out. Let's see what happens here. I actually used a lot of rancid eggs when I was fighting Radiance. And the reason why is because there was a glitch that happened um, when I was fighting Radiance, and I don't know if they fixed it or not. Oh yeah, he summons the thing. I do care about going back down there, but I don't want to go back down right now because we're gonna go do the bees. I don't know why I'm not crystalling this. So anyway, I spent too much time on World of Warcraft, and I kind of wish I had used that time for other things. <clears throat> but um, it was a lesson, I guess. So. Can't be can't be upset at yourself for things like that. Good old wow. I mean, I heard one person make the argument that you know, oh, you could spend your time doing other things, but generally speaking, you'll be just playing other video games. I'm like, yeah, I'd rather have played other video games. <laughs> well, that reminds. I read something on Reddit earlier this morning. Um. And they were talking about how the new Halo game has a battle pass, or doesn't have a battle pass. One of the two. And somebody commented, well, if you're not getting points towards the battle pass, then what's the point of the fights and killing people? <laughs> and I was like, playing the game? I, have we gotten to the point where just playing the game isn't why you're playing the game? For some people it isn't. It really isn't. Um, so... I, I don't know if you remember Retrovania, but he's uh, rebranded himself again as Unknown V2, but he has an entire series that he's doing talking about trophies and whether or not they make the game better. And Because uh, he spent a lot of time uh, getting Platinums and was actually, I think, a, like number one or number two in the world as far as the most Platinums. And he has some very interesting insight about just that culture of... Oh, I guess I'm fighting this guy now. At least this one has a bench or a bench sort of nearby. 
I mean, I guess the the achievements give you kind of a structure to follow through the game, and it could conceivably feel Oof. aimless if you didn't have those. Yeah, I'm gonna come back to these guys. I am not. Okay, maybe I'm not coming back to these guys. <laughs> <laughs> like just a random like charging enemy was like uh, I did it. I'm gonna go sleep at the bench in the king's place because that's a pretty safe bench. I don't know. My problem is is I keep wanting to use benches for save warping, and that only works if you're good enough to not die. <laughs> yeah, that's the other thing is that we we don't understand what it's like to begin gaming now. Oh, to like enter gaming now? Yeah, like unless you're unless you're on Nintendo, who still doesn't have an achievement system, um, you can count that as a benefit or a bane, depending on who you are. I mean, in my mind, I don't care about an achievements, so I don't care if they're in there or not. <laughs> I started doing them for a while, like when they first came out, just out of novelty, when the PS3 happened. But then I learned I just didn't like doing them because uh, I, I platinum Dead Space and that Prince of Persia that nobody talks about anymore. Um, and then maybe... I mean, I think if, if you really like a game, it gives you more reasons to play that game. But in, in my mind, that's because you enjoy playing the game, not right. necessarily because you enjoy getting the achievements. Well, something I learned about achievements is that they often make you do things that make the game less enjoyable. And that's what I learned when I platinum Dead Space and uh, in that Prince of Persia game. Is a lot of times it's like, oh yeah, I collect 500 of these or die 100 times or nonsense oh, like right. that. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I mean, in my mind, the best achievements are the ones, my example that I always use is um, in the orange box for 360. Um, in the first expansion for Half-Life 2, when you're in the city, there's an achievement for only firing oh one bullet for the entire achieve or for the entire game, and it's to unlock a. Oh no! <laughs> I did it. Oh no, I didn't. You, uh, no. I just lost eighteen hundred geo. That sucks. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Well, now I have nothing to lose. It's always a good feeling, right? Uh, Let's see. What do we want? I guess we'll get the. Thorns of Agony. Halo, Halo IASO. What is that one? Here's the thing, guys. I've never played Halo from beginning to end. I've never been a big FPS person. Uh, Metroid Prime Trilogy and Bioshock are the only FPS games that I've played from beginning to end. And I guess technically Paradox Vector now. Uh, you played, um... Oh, I guess that's a third-person shooter. And I hope that when I outline... You played Remnant. <laughs> oh, I did play Remnant. That's a third-person shooter, though. Uh... It was, that was, that was first-person, wasn't it? I did play Deus Ex Human Revolution. I did not play the original Deus Ex. Did that, you ask for it? That was in the time frame, like, when Diablo 2 was popular, that that became a... What, Deus Ex? The, the original Deus Ex. It's a classic. Yeah, it is. But that was like that was that era that I was saying that I, I stopped gaming for a while. I've been meaning to bring up to you and uh, the other person we play games with. Uh, there's a game called I Divine... Divine... <laughs> something, something. Anyway, it's, third play, or it's three players and uh, you can all play together. Oh, for game night? Yeah. Cybermancy. That's what it is. I divine Cybermancy. It looks interesting. It looks Deus Ex like. Oops. The sequels to Deus Ex, I feel like, have have appeal, but they do feel different from the original. I think that they shouldn't have a leveling system. I like that the, the reason why I'm uh, dying here is because I can't get good at these guys. It's mostly that I kind of have a tank and spank approach up to and this it's point. Not working. And not just that it's not working, but these guys do do two damage, and that kind of makes the tank and spank approach unviable. Right. 
And my problem with human revolution was actually the battery system. The irony here is I'm not even interested in fighting this thing right now. I would just want to get down past him, but maybe I just keep you running. Alone. Yeah. Well, I mean, as long as I'm here and I don't have any geo to risk, I'm like, I should just beat him. And then, of course, he's just eating me. So, but it's Because cool. if you don't, all those deaths are uh, for naught. Yeah. But it's cool. It's cool. We got this. Ouch. Okay, and one of these times when I come down this pathway, I'm not going to hit that spike, like, every single time. <laughs> uh, yeah, the, 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 that, it's a weird metaphor. I'm not even talking about the story, though. Um, looking at just the gameplay, I feel like Human Revolution shouldn't have had the leveling system because I felt like it was just arbitrary and trendy, pointless. I feel like the cyborgs as a minority, they were trying to tie into the whole almost mutants as a minority thing, and it just didn't really work. I like when he summons, he like freaks out. <laughs> Not Human Revolution. Mankind, but which was the first one that came out? Human Revolution is the first one that came out. Yeah, Mankind Divided, I think, is, is the, the second sequel, one. sequel, yeah. Of the new ones. Oh, gosh. Although it apparently has really good world building. Yeah. You're talking about the bunny hop review? Uh, yeah. Was that a bunny hop review where he talks about how it's real dense and most of it has nothing to do with the main story? He was talking about how, like, some of the systems made um, some emergent gameplay really interesting. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that yeah. has a lingering That's effect. Hmm. And I have not watched a... Oh. I'm upset. I have not watched a bunny hop review in a long time. <laughs> no. He just kind of stopped making videos for a while, and then I just kind of lost the habit. And Well, he, he... My problem with him is he launched that uh, Kickstarter, made a ton of money, and then was like, all right, I'm not going to make any videos. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a Kickstarter. It was Patreon, but yeah. Oh, that's right. Patreon, yeah. Yeah, he was making, like, I don't know, $80,000 a year, which is pretty good for a YouTuber. Yeah, I mean... And before the Patreon, he was making way more videos than after the Patreon. Yeah. I think he just got tired of video games, honestly. He never seemed to be a super huge fan. <laughs> sure. I mean, he always I think he's kind of a negative outlook on a lot of things. Yeah. But, I mean, he had an interesting take. Well, he, he, kept, he kept trying to review um, AAA games and obviously does not like AAA tropes. So it made him very tired when he was making his reviews. Sure. All right, well, we got to get good at these guys eventually, so grinding this guy out. I mean, unless you guys would prefer I did this off screen. It's got to happen some point time. <laughs> you just, like, trashed around. And, you know, supposedly Nightmare King Graham is the hardest challenge of this entire game, so... He is tough. Getting good, at, getting good at the guys that leading up to him is probably prerequisite to even beating that King Green at all. So, although there is a harder um, what <sighs> radiance fight? Oh yeah, nightmare radiance or whatever. Whew, I'm not happy about losing my geo. I should have deposited it. <clears throat> that was two thousand geo. That's uh. That puts this 13,000 behind to forgetting the upgraded uh, notches. I'm calling it right now, though. We don't really have time to see the bees at this point. <laughs> what? No, we're still going to make it to the bees. we got 12 minutes, so unless I stop fighting this guy, we're not going to make it. No, gonna you're going gonna to beat this guy, and then... I'm not going to stop fighting this guy at this point. So I apologize to anybody who is, who is upset that we did not see the bees today. <laughs> okay, the next time we play... We're not even going to bring up bees, and then it'll be the first thing we end up doing. <laughs> it actually probably will end up being the first thing we end up doing, because we're literally like right on the doorstep. It's just this guy that's been gatekeeping us. <clears throat> I wonder what my cash loss count is this time. I know that I lost Geo at some other point. Does it keep track of that? I don't know. That's a good question. It should. Maybe it shouldn't. It doesn't keep track of it. Yeah, that would, be, that would be frustrating. Yeah. Yeah, this is my wall of regrets. <laughs> it just does so much damage. <laughs> does Nightmare King Grim do two damage each hit? I guess Radiance does. I 
think this is one of the only like basic enemies that does. Is this technically a basic enemy or is this a mini boss? Are these mini bosses? Yeah. I guess maybe it's a mini boss. I mean, they're about as boss like as those guys that you kill. <sighs> that you kill for the. Uh, um... but it doesn't help that this is probably the hardest arena for fighting this guy. Yeah, that's true. I don't know where the easiest arena is to learn his pattern. I, I've learned his pattern, I just keep messing up. You know, and at a certain point, you just. I, I like to call it full tilt. You kind of lose your mojo, and it's just like, you gotta take a break for a while. And then you come back and do it in the first try. Yeah, yeah, no, that's usually how it works. I think that's how it worked in ESA when we were doing that. I don't know, did I have to give up on many bosses during that time? I can't remember. Oh, I don't remember. It's been too long. The best strategy for NKG is not get hit. Yeah, that seemed like it was the best strategy for the first one. Best strategy here is don't get hit too. Best strategy for Radiance is build Joni and then just spam soul attacks. <laughs> That's what I did. I think I finally gotten good at uh, dodging the spikes on my way down here at least. Mm -mm -mm. Main thing I hate about this guy is he just keeps his distance the whole time. Ugh, okay, I need to figure out how to tell between when he's gonna do the pillar attack and when he's gonna do the the, the radial attack. Okay, so this is the radial. So I, it's the it's the rattlesnake hiss <laughs> that determines the difference. Okay, so this is the pillars because he's making the rattlesnake sound. And that's just the... Okay. It's a sound thing. I couldn't do it visually. I also have my volume turned down so I can hear Nick. I have it turned off. <laughs> See, that would make it really hard. Okay, okay. We got this now. Let me just take a step back and watch the pattern and not think about winning. Is the best strategy. I just like the look of the little signs that hang in the uh, the metro stations. Yeah, it's nice attention to detail. Good environmental storytelling in all night. Underappreciated are things like this background, the parallax layer that you have like. Oh yeah, it's just kind of amazing. Three or four buildings. Three layers going on actually. Yeah, three or four buildings back there. These are the details that take them like over. 18 hours to put together and you know for one room or whatever and most players just kind of pass them by and complain about something else <laughs> don't even notice right it's important to notice these things because they're good even on bad games is that why silk song is taking so long it could be those masterful backgrounds man I should probably shouldn't have even gone for that one. Oh, okay, so the lingering fire is something else I need to get used to. Oh my gosh. Does having a broken vessel Whoa. reduce the amount of um, Soul mojo you get, you get per hit? Know, it might be. Honestly, I don't even need Mojo for this. I just need to just not die. Well, you could be uh, zapping him. So Master says the Hollow Knight is too bland because that was what <laughs> a particular uh, YouTuber who does not like Hollow Knight uh, accused Hollow Knight of. Yeah, bland. The, everything, totally the describing word I would use. Everything looks too samey. Which, you know, everything's dark. So, I mean, it's not that the complaint doesn't have a foundation, but it is a, it is a complaint about um, disliking a specific aesthetic rather than any kind of artistic uh, flaw. 
Uh, please recommend other insect theme Metroidvania. Um, but uh, insect adventure <laughs> is actually pretty good. Uh, none of them have the Fallen Kingdom thing going on. I think I'm just gonna let the uh, the bug kill it and just not try and attack it this entire time. He seems to be doing a pretty just decent job. Just focusing on dodge. <laughs> I'm not gonna actually do that because that would take forever, but. And you know how much patience I have. Nope. You can play. What's that game that is like Hollow Knight? And then the Hollow Knight people are helping them make it? Crossworn? Yeah, there you go. Crossworn. Oh, is that out yet? No, that's gonna be like 2024 at the earliest. 2024? Yeah. It just barely passed its Kickstarter. Oh, I don't know. And you know how long those things take after the Kickstarter gets booted. If you're Heart Force Alicia, you're, I think you're at like 11 years at this point. You keep seeing, we keep seeing footage for that, but no uh, definitive date or anything. Occasionally I'll get somebody like join the Discord or whatever and it's like, hey, you know when Heart Force Alicia is coming out? I'm like, I don't like have omniscience <laughs> with Metroid video <laughs> games. <laughs> 2027. <laughs> Oh, you did it! Oh, no, you did. Oh, yeah, you did. I did do it. Yeah, no, we got it. Just got, just got to talk it through. Just in time. Just in time. So we have four minutes to get to the bees. Can we get to the bees? <laughs> That's hilarious. All right. Well, next time we fight those things, it's probably gonna go a lot better. I don't even know if this is the best place to get to the tram. It's just the one place I knew where it was. <laughs> so. All right, here we go. I think you just hit this side, or you do this. Wait. <laughs> oh, for Heart Fourth Elite. Yeah, pointing to the Wii U is one of the stretch goals for the... I did not mean to rest of that bench, but I guess it's fine. It's a good bench. I mean, to be I fair, that's one of the best benches in the game. Yeah, it's true. You do have a lot of places you can go to, although it doesn't lead to everywhere. You know, they should port it to the Wii U at this point. They really should. I think the system needs more games. And not port it to the Switch. Definitely not the Switch. Well, that, that console's dying anyway. You think the Switch is dying? <laughs> I don't think the Switch is dying. Some people would argue that, but I think there's completely different audiences. No, I know. I was kidding. Future Sutra will tell you it's gonna it, it's on its last leg. I forgot how cute the little bees are. I'm not supposed to talk about Future Sutra unless I at him, so I'm gonna have to at him after this stream. And then he's gonna be really confused about why I added him, but I'm like, he told me to at you. At me, bro. <laughs> Come at me, bro. That is almost literally what he says. Alright, so here's here. And there's there. <laughs> I know how to get through this place now, Nick. It's called Don't Go Places You're Not Supposed to Go. Don't go places you're not supposed to go. That's just good life advice. One of my friends told me about the cute bees, and I told them the bees were cute. Okay, yes, yeah, so we see the bees. I know it's okay. I'm gonna go rest of the bench so that we can get the map filled in because I know it's in this area. It's it's right like here. A, it's right here. Yeah, this, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I should die right here and be like, "All right, guys, next week." <laughs> Bees. We did it. <laughs> All right. Well, technically, we've already fulfilled the promise of seeing the bees. There we go. We didn't say we were going to do anything. We just said we were going to get to the bees. Is there a bench in this area? Uh, yes, but not near the entrance. Right. I think it's near the fight. All right, we're here, guys, but we have to call the stream at this point. So I'm going to go ahead and kill this thing and break this. Next we, week. We finally made it to the place of golden honey. So next week, 
We are going to start the stream and then leave. <laughs> and then go somewhere else and then try to get the bees <laughs> at the end of it again. <laughs> and we'll forget where the bees are. All right. I'm going to take a picture right here to make it seem like we did the whole stream here. And then... <laughs> yeah, just title it Bees with a bunch of exclamation marks. <laughs> All right, everyone. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next week.